Okay, in our today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on a portable hard disk. The first and most important step you need to do is to have this simple software ROOPS uh, and the Ubuntu ISO image file. Uh, insert USB in your computer, uh, select the USB from here, then select this ISO file and click on start your write this file to your usb so that we will use that usb to install ubuntu on your portable hard disk i have two hard disks right now one is the internal hard disk internal hard disks have these three drives and these remaining three drives are from the external hard disk so the first tip is to click on windows plus r and type here disk mgmt.msc click on ok first backup all your data from your second hard disk here you can see that i have two disk one is disk 0 which is the internal hard disk and this disk one is the external portable hard disk uh, which i have connected with the help of an usb cable to my computer uh, Using this trick, you can even install Ubuntu on a USB flash drive. Um, if you have a uh, USB flash drive 256 GB or something like that, or 128 GB, even is enough for installing Ubuntu. Also, the first step I will delete this so that we can make some space for the Ubuntu. Delete this volume now i'm going to delete uh, this volume and also delete this one create a new sample volume uh, select the space about uh, i want this partition to be 50 gb and finish okay now this partition is 48 GB and the partition is 48.83 GB and this unallotted space is 184.06 GB so we are going to install Ubuntu on this unallotted space uh, and the most important step we are going to take right now is to remove your uh, internal hard disk from your computer. We will disconnect our internal hard disk from our computer physically you should do that. You can even do that too without removing your hard disk but that will damage your uh, internal hard disk uh, windows operating system and you will not be able to boot from windows so the best thing is uh, you can even recover that but uh, that is uh, will take some extra effort uh, so the best option is to physically remove the hard disk the internal hard disk from your computer and then connect uh, both the external hard disk and the usb flash to your computer and from the usb live flash we will install uh, ubuntu to our external hard disk so i am going to remove my hard disk from this computer i will turn off this computer right now now connect your external hard disk and usb to your computer and turn on your computer now computer directly booted from the live flash and here now you can see two options one is install ubuntu and the second option is try ubuntu so we are going to install ubuntu Install Ubuntu now. In this setup language, click on continue. Here 
again click on continue normal installation and continue now here what i am going to do is click on something else now keep in mind that external hard disk is only external hard disk is connected to this computer right now and this is the free space on that hard disk i have disconnected the uh, internal hard disk from this computer so we are going to install ubuntu on this free space we will create a new extended partition here the first partition will be to create this first partition is the root partition this one is the root and the size of this partition I want to be uh, about 50 GB 50 GB ok this partition I want to be 55 ok this is This is 57,000. So this means this will be something about 57 GB as a root partition. Now click on OK. Now what we are going to do is to create a swap area, and swap area will be about uh, the size of your RAM. If your RAM is 4 GB, then create this partition. 4 GB but uh, if your RAM is more than 4 GB so what I am going to do is I am going to create this as 5000 5000 means this will be something about and mount this point as a swap area change this to swap area and click on ok now in the remaining space we will create the home partition now we select here home partition this is extended for and mount point is home partition click on home and click on ok now everything is almost ready so like this and click on install now now other steps are very simple it will do the remaining steps automatically continue your name your name the name is same automatically and enter the password and select this short password ok click on continue Now the Ubuntu is installing on the external hard disk. Now everything is almost ready. Click on restart now and remove the USB flash drive. 